What's up Average Dad fans? Thank you for watching and welcome to the very first episode of Average Dad Does Tech News. So this will be made up of some news stories, some deals that you can find online, which I will link in description, a little bit of a feature. Um, and yeah, that's it. First attempt at doing some news from an average dad's perspective, talking mostly about tech. So here we go. First news story of the day, covered by numerous different sources. John Prosser, um, Pocket Now Daily, Jaime Rivera also um, discussed this, that rumours are rife surrounding a potential Christmas surprise from Apple. I know what it's going to be. When I say I know, asterisk, I think I know. This is definitely going to be the long-awaited Apple Studio headphones. The leak itself kind of alluded to a Christmas winter warmer. Now, when you think of studio headphones, they're over here, they're like earmuffs. So putting two and two together, I might be making five here, but I do believe it will be the Apple Studio headphones. Now you can see here from the, the images, they look delicious, let's be honest. However, those that you see in that image, leaked by, again, John Prosser many months ago, are actually the more premium leather, metal, aluminium, titanium, all the premium um, materials. Those are going to be about £700. So what we will actually get, First is a almost active fitness version of the studio headphones, which will be more plastic, but it is Apple, so we're still talking really quality build here. Those will retail at around £300. You can see a rough image here, again, kind of through numerous sources, but Apple themselves have added this icon to uh, an iOS update recently, so they kind of leaked it themselves. Sticking with Apple, and I've been reading a lot of different reviews about uh, the future of the iPad, in particular the display screens for the iPad. There's chat early next year of there being a mini LED screen. Again, through leaks, and I'm certainly not a leaker, I don't shoot the messenger. Um, while this may be true, I personally will be waiting for the definite, and again you can mark my words here, there will definitely be an OLED panel iPad. So the iPad screen will be an OLED screen come September, October 2021. So that's the one I'll be waiting for. Rumours are that it'll be an all iPad variants. However, I think it'll just be the iPad Pro versions that get the OLED screen next year. And final bit of Apple news, MagSafe. Does it work? Doesn't it work? I'll let you be the judge. I buy most tech products. As you'll see from my channel, I review quite a lot, particularly Apple products. I have not bought MagSafe charger yet because I don't believe it's ready. Some people are only getting nine, 10, 11 watts of charging. I've got a 20 pound Amazon wireless charger that gets me 15 watts consistently. So I'm holding off on MagSafe, however, I will not be able to hold off for long because next year when the iPhone 13, don't think they'll call it iPhone 13, 13 is an unlucky number. There's no way Apple, being that they hit all over the globe, that they will go for the 13, they'll come up with a new name, whatever they call that variant, it will be portless. Yes, portless. Apple got rid of the headphone jack many moons ago. I think it was the iPhone 7 was the last to get the headphone jack? I know they definitely had an iPhone 6. I think it was iPhone 7. So no headphone jack. As we know, they're absolutely religiously sticking to lightning rather than USB-C. So they're not going to go to USB-C in the iPhone. They're just going to go straight to no ports. So next year, not only will you not get a charger, you'll not have anywhere to plug in a charger on the iPhone. This will be purely Qi wireless charged and MagSafe. 
I'm hoping by next year MagSafe will get faster. We should see between 20 and 30 watt charging speeds using those MagSafe well, uh, magnets. Android fanboys, not forgot about you. Some Samsung news. The S21 lineup will kick off in January of 2021. Not spring, not summer, January. By the end of January, the US, UK and other markets will have the S21 phone. It will be released. We know this because there's already been testing taking place and various publications, including in India, have all quality tested the, the product. Samsung want to try and catch the post-Christmas market. They also want to leave a gap in between the sales of their devices. As we know, Samsung covers all bases, flips, folds, tablet, everything. Samsung do it all and they do it all well. However, next year they are cancelling the Note line putting the S Pen and the S21 series and S21 Ultra. They are delaying the Z Fold 3 release and potentially, again, this is not confirmed, but I think there will be a Z Flip 3, I think they'll be on to now, next year as well. So January, S21 lineup. June, July, Z Fold, and Z Flip. Don't mark my words on this one. Don't take it to the, don't bet the house in it, but that's what we're looking at. Well, Average Dad fans, that was it. Episode one of Average Dad Does Tech News is complete. I really appreciate you watching to this point for the one or two of you that actually have stayed till the end. If you enjoyed some of the content, hit the like button, comment on what you want to see for future episodes. This is a work in progress. I'm really working with you. As you know, I am no professional YouTuber, just your average dad. So subscribe to the channel for more. This will be a weekly show that I will drop um, on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. And yeah, take care.